So we know that plastic is a fantastic material. We just need to know how to handle it. If we learn how to reuse the plastic, it will create a circular material flow. Please, Louise, help me describe a circular economy. In a circular economy, we strive to prolong the life of products and materials as much as possible. And we do that through the design. So we make sure to design the products so that they are possible to share and repair, refurbish and reuse. And when they're eventually worn out, we also make sure that they are possible to recycle so that we can recover the materials that are in them, take them back as raw material in the production of new products. And why is the circular economy so important for you? I think that the circular economy is one tangible and doable step towards the transformation of our society towards a more sustainable society. And I think from, from our perspective as a company, I think th this transition is already happening and a lot of, in a lot of places we can see it and we need to be there, otherwise we will get left behind and it will be a huge competitive advantage for us if we can be early in the circular economy. Traceability and data sharing are a rather important challenge for you, right? I would say that traceability is a key in a more uh, circular economy. So we have to start sharing data and information with each other um, to be able to achieve that. And uh, it will be a win-win for everyone. I mean, for our organization as well as individuals, for end consumers and for the people working in a factory, for example, to know more about the products will only be a good thing. And if in the recycling industry, it will help us to get a more efficient uh, recycling and we know what the products that comes into our facilities uh, contain and how to treat them in the most efficient way. And from our perspective, I, we need to be much better at knowing where our products end up and how they end up towards the end of life. As it is now, we are producing products and send them out into the market, but then they disappear from the map for us. So we need to know and that's where this collaboration goes, because you know where, how they are at the end of life and we know how they are at the beginning of the life. And if we talk to each other, we can actually reconnect this and create this circular flow. Mm -hmm. The project is a vacuum cleaner. Yes. That's what we are talking about. And uh, what do you, would you say is the status for the vacuum cleaner today? Currently, we have made a physical prototype from recycled post-consumer plastic, uh, which is actually a great step. But it's also been a prototype that is made 100% from either recycled components uh, or recycled materials. Uh, and they are functioning and they're currently in testing. Uh, and that is a very iterative process. So that's going on right now. Uh, and we are developing uh, in, we are in discussion how we can develop it and how we can improve it. And one of the improvements that we have made is that just from a, a recyclability point of view, we've, these wheels have been made of two plastic components, which is bad for recycling. So we switched that and made them in one single plastic, uh, one single plastic type, which uh, increased the recyclability of the product. Mm. And that makes it easier to recycle. Exactly. Yeah. You don't need to separate these parts uh, in the process of mm. recycling. So you get one material, mm. which mm. makes it much easier. Mm. What are your expectations for the outcome, Jens? The first step of this project is something inspiring and something just showing other people within our companies, but also mm. in the world that you can do this. You can start collaborating and you can get tangible physical result from it. I think that's a great part. And then, of course, the next step is to take it even further and maybe put these products into market or into mm. a more circular flow and also get these insights into our product development. So there's yeah, so many exciting paths that mm. lead out from this. Uh, but I think the inspiration is the biggest part. Hope so. Mm. Thank you a lot for being here and tell us about the project and thank you for doing this project.